Hello, welcome to the weekly home down payment account review. Balance on the account is $103,700. I'm still getting used to seeing large numbers like this because I've never ever in my lifetime had a balance this big. So I'm like, wait, what? Oh, right, 100, <laughs> which is great, right? It's wonderful. Okay, so one hundred and three thousand seven hundred. Let's look at the deposits for the week. There was just one deposit on March nineteenth for a total of three hundred dollars, which is good. I am ninety four percent towards the next target balance for the account, which is one hundred and ten thousand dollars. So nothing too exciting this week. I'm getting closer and closer to the month of June where I plan to start the home buying process. I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of cold feet because buying a home or I live in New York City, so it's a co-op, which is in short an apartment. I'm buying a two bedroom, one bath apartment. So it's not an actual single family home right with a backyard front yard all you know basement all that good stuff but i'm getting a little bit of a cold feet because one my housing expenses will more than double when i buy the co-op so that's going to be a drastic difference in terms of what i'm paying for housing right now and again it's all relative right so i live in new york city so the one bedroom, one bath that I'm renting right now is also, to me, high. So I'm, I'm paying $1,911 for a one bedroom, one bath, and it's tiny. So this is not like a big, it's not updated, it's old. Like, this is New York City that we're talking about. $1,911 doesn't get you anything even remotely good <laughs> here. And with the co-op, and of course, I'm always going to be transparent with you all, that mortgage payment could be 4000 5000 <laughs> right? So uh, that's a big change to go from, in short, spending $1,900 a month on housing to $4,000 a month or $5,000 a month. So it's a little scary. I'm not going to lie. And it's scary mostly because, well, two things. One, it makes me more reliant on my employer. Not that I'm not reliant on my employer right now, because of course, without my employer, I wouldn't be able to pay any of my bills right now. But I think it just intensifies the relationship more because... Now it's like, okay, you have this huge mortgage. There's no way you can lose this job. <laughs> and it just keeps me sort of locked in with an employer, which for those of us on the fire path, uh, that doesn't necessarily feel good. And then the second thing is just not being able to save and invest as much anymore. So less on the savings because... I'm just, I only have this big balance because I'm looking to buy the co-op. So from a saving standpoint, the only money that I will have is my emergency fund, which is $15,000. That's set, that's in the account already. So that's like the only sort of like cash I'm going to keep on hand besides the cash that I will use to pay for monthly bills. But more on the investing side, right? So if my housing payments going from 1900 to four say say four thousand dollars well okay that's a two thousand dollar difference so now that's two thousand dollars less you have to save and invest which is a pretty decent amount of money if you kind of think about it but then i know some folks might say well it's a home you're building equity so you have to sort of pan back a bit and think more long term it's not like this extra $2,000 is just getting blown and there's no value to it. There is value to it. You're just, instead of investing it in your brokerage account, you're investing it in your home, which is an investment of value. So not to forget that. So oh, just getting a little bit nervous. 
and I'm also really excited as well. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I was just thinking. I was just like, oh wait, you're starting the process in June. It's pretty much April. Isn't that like two months from now? I'm like, yes, it's two months from now. That's so soon. And I was thinking, I was like, okay, maybe should I push it back? And I was like, nope, you're not pushing it back. Sorry, you've been saving for a home down payment for 10 plus years. Nope, not pushing it back. So we're starting in June. We know the interest rates are high. And I know some people might say like, oh, with interest rate, now is not a good time to buy. Eh. I, I hear that and I agree with it. But it's also, for me, I do believe you buy when you're ready and fin financially able to buy. You don't buy based off what the interest rate is. So that's my that's my personal view on it. So I have the money. I'm ready to go. So the process will start in June. We will see what happens. Okay, until next time. Bye.